Our today's topic is petroleum. Petroleum consists of two words Petra, it means rock, and oleum, it means oil. It can also be called rock oil. Petroleum is naturally occurring oil that consists mainly of hydrocarbons and some other elements like sulfur, oxygen and nitrogen. Its impure form is called crude oil. Now we'll talk about its distribution in the world, its deposits. Saudi Arabia is the largest producer of petroleum. Apart from it, Kuwait, Iraq, Russia, China, USA, Libya, these are also oil producing countries. Formation of petroleum. It is obtained from remains of it is obtained from remains of organisms living in sea. It is believed that from petroleum was formed from organisms living in the sea. Organisms living in the sea, when they became dead, they just settled down at the bottom of seabed. These remains were deposited in shallow depressions in the sea. These are covered by layers of sand and clay which compressed these remains. All this process occurs for millions of years. The organic matter of the dead plant underwent a series of uh, different changes before finally transformed into petroleum. In this process, tremendous amount of temperature pressure was applied on them. And this petroleum was formed below the sea surface. From there, it migrated to source rock to be entrapped in large reservoirs beneath impermeable rocks. Petroleum offer floats over a layer of water and is held in this position under pressure beneath a layer of natural gas. So when oil is obtained by drilling an oil well, natural gas comes out first with great force. Crude oil comes out as its own due to gas pressure. After the pressure has subsided, it is pumped out of the well. As we know, Petroleum obtained from earth crust cannot be used as such. It contains many impurities. So it has to be refined before use. So our next topic is refining. Petroleum is a mixture of uh, several hydrocarbons. It is fall smelling brown black liquid as we know petroleum is impure form so before being used it has to be purified the process of separating the various components of petroleum from one another is known as refining of petroleum And refining is done by the process fractional distillation. In 
in the process fraction distillation the petroleum is heated to a very high temperature the principle behind the separation of various components is that various components have different boiling points and uh, they are distilled over because of this property the components of petroleum are separated in a large fractionating column that can be seen in the figure crude oil is piped to the refinery from a well this crude oil is washed with acid and alkali solutions to remove basic and acidic impurities now crude oil is heated to about 673 kelvin and fed at the bottom of fractionating column here we can see this is a opening to enter crude oil all the components except asphalt are converted in the vapor state as the mixture of hot vapors rises up in the column here we can see uh, it will rise up in this way in the column it begins to cool now the component with highest boiling point would condenses first and is collected here we can see the substance fuel oil is having the highest boiling point its boiling range is also the highest so it will be condensed first in this figure after that diesel oil then kerosene then petrol the various components condensed at different heights of the column are collected separately this is a process of fractional distillation here one thing is important to understand it is based on the principle of uh, difference in boiling points different substances have different boiling points the substance having highest boiling point would be separated first of all now we'll discuss products of fractional distillation of petroleum the first product is residual oil it is obtained by primary distillation of petroleum it is also known as reduced crude oil when it is distilled in vacuum it produces bitumen as residue the important uses of bitumen are in road surfacing and coating cables to provide electrical insulation the next important product obtained from it is paraffin wax it boils above 673 kelvin it is obtained from residual oil its important uses are in making candles vaseline grease polishes it is also used for waterproofing of paper cartons the next important product is lubricating oil its boiling range is 623 kelvin to 673 kelvin it is also obtained from residual oil and its use is to lubricate machinery
the next product obtained is fuel oil its boiling range is 573 kelvin to 623 kelvin it is better fuel than coal so it is used in industries as on burning coal large amount of ash is produced that has to be regularly removed but there is no such problem with fuel oil its main use in industry is to heat boilers and furnaces the next important fraction obtained from fraction distillation is diesel oil you all must have heard the name of this substance its boiling range is 573 kelvin to 623 kelvin it contains straight chain alkanes with the number of carbon atoms from 16 to 20 it is mainly used as a fuel in cars trucks buses such heavy vehicles the next important product obtained from fractional distillation is the next important product obtained from fractional distillation is kerosene its boiling range is 423 kelvin to 573 kelvin it is also straight chain alkene with 11 to 16 carbon atoms it is mainly used for domestic purpose for lighting lanterns lamps stoves etc it is also used in making oil gas a special grade of kerosene is used as a fuel in jet engines of aeroplanes another important product obtained from fractional distillation of petroleum is petrol its boiling range is 343 to 393 kelvin it is also known as gasoline it is also straight chain alkene with 7 to 9 carbon atoms it is used as a fuel in two wheelers three wheelers and cars it is also used as solvent for dry cleaning of clothes another important product obtained is petroleum gas
as we all are familiar with this name it is actually used in home as a fuel in domestic purpose it is a mixture of gases mainly butane along with it ethane and propane are also present as it is gaseous fuels so on burning it produces large amount of energy butane is easily liquefied under high pressure so its liquid form is supplied in cylinders and it is commonly known as liquefied petroleum gas if we talk about the properties of lpg it is colorless having no color odorless no smell and highly combustible that is inflammable gas as it is odorless gas and uh, as well as highly inflammable gas as well so its leakage cannot be detected so to detect the leakage of gas from the cylinder a sharp smelling substance is added to it it is ethyl mercaptan the cylinders supplied to our home the domestic gas cylinder it contains about 14.2 kg of lpg as we know lpg is clean fuel producing large amount of energy so it is commonly used at home but care should be taken in its use lpg should be used with care any accidental leakage can cause explosion if there is any leakage of gas from the cylinder the following precautions should be taken immediately all doors and windows of the room in which cylinder is kept should be opened so that gas can escape from that place do not switch on or off the electrical switches if there is any flame in the nearby area vicinity it should be immediately extinguished if these cares have been taken up then uh, any accident because of lpg can be avoided 